In a strikingly confrontational appearance, former President Donald Trump faced an unusually hostile audience at the Libertarian Party National Convention on Saturday night. The event, held in Denver, Colorado, saw the Republican presidential candidate greeted with a mix of cheers and jeers as he took the stage. A rare sight for the former president who is more accustomed to the adulation of his loyal supporters. The decision to invite Trump to the Libertarian Convention was controversial from the outset. Libertarians, who prioritize small government and individual liberties, often view Trump with skepticism due to his track record on federal spending, his handling of the COVID-19 pandemic, and his contentious political maneuvers. His invitation alone caused a rift within the party, with some members staunchly opposed to giving him a platform, while others saw it as an opportunity to broaden their appeal and influence. As Trump approached the podium, a sea of reactions met him. Supporters clad in Make America Great Again, hats and t-shirts, tried to outshout the detractors with chants of USA, USA. However, it quickly became clear that the former president was not among his usual adoring crowd. The boos were loud and persistent, interspersed with shouts of disapproval that highlighted the deep divide within the audience. Trump attempted to break the ice with a joke about his legal troubles, referencing the four criminal indictments against him. If I wasn't a libertarian before, I sure as hell am a libertarian now, he quipped, trying to align himself with the party's emphasis on personal freedom and opposition to government overreach. The response was lukewarm, at best, signaling the challenge he faced in winning over this particular audience. The former president's speech quickly shifted to a more familiar territory as he praised the fierce champions of freedom in this room and launched into a scathing critique of President Joe Biden. Labeling Biden as a tyrant and the worst president in the history of the United States, Trump might have expected a supportive reaction. Instead, a significant portion of the crowd responded with a stinging retort. That's you. Caught off guard by the intensity of the backlash, Trump found himself in a rare position of defensiveness. The heckling intensified as members of the audience continued to criticize him for his administration's policies, particularly the expansion of federal deficits and the perceived erosion of civil liberties during his tenure. The tension in the room was palpable as Trump struggled to maintain his composure amidst the open hostility. In an attempt to regain control of the narrative, Trump lashed out at his critics. You don't want to win, he retorted, accusing some libertarians of being content with their minor electoral victories rather than striving for broader influence. He suggested that their commitment to ideological purity was preventing them from achieving greater political success. You want to keep getting your 3% every four years, he added, referencing the party's historically low vote shares in national elections. Trump's rocky reception at the Libertarian Convention underscores a broader challenge for his 2024 campaign expanding his base beyond the core supporters who propelled him to victory in 2016. His presidency, marked by polarizing policies and rhetoric, has left him with a deeply loyal following, but also a significant number of detractors within the conservative and libertarian communities. The Libertarian Party, known for its emphasis on individual freedom and minimal government intervention, represents a unique but challenging demographic for Trump. Many libertarians criticize his administration's handling of civil liberties, the national debt, and foreign policy. His appearance at the convention was a calculated risk aimed at bridging these divides, but the response he received highlighted the difficulties he faces in this endeavor. As the 2024 election approaches, both Trump and the Libertarian Party face critical decisions about their strategies and alliances. For Trump, the path to reclaiming the presidency may require more than just energizing his base. It may necessitate winning over skeptical factions within the broader conservative movement. For libertarians, the challenge lies in balancing ideological purity with pragmatic considerations of political success. Donald Trump's appearance at the Libertarian Party National Convention was a dramatic and telling episode in the unfolding drama of the 2024 presidential race. It highlighted the deep divisions within the American political landscape and the formidable obstacles that lie ahead for both Trump and the Libertarian Party. Whether this encounter will lead to greater collaboration or further polarization remains to be seen, but it is clear that the road to November 2024 will be anything but predictable.